Now we're going to practice um, the stitches, the straight, the pivoting. That's when we're turning corners and sewing a curve on a curve edge. We're going to practice that now that we've had our machine loaded with the top thread and the bobbin thread is how we have two threads coming out. So I've taken a scrap fit of fabric here and with my tailor's jerk, I have made a straight line and we're going to sew straight along this line. What you need to do is your needle needs to be in the topmost position. Place your fabric in the on the sewing machine. Lower the needle into the fabric. Drop your dog feet and then switch on your machine and then press the foot pedal and you're sewing your straight stitch. Just use your hands to guide the fabric to make sure you're sewing in a straight line. And when I finish sewing, I make sure the needle is in the topmost position. I lift up the dog field. I pull out my fabric and I snip it off. Snip off the dry. There we have the straight stitch sewed. Okay, now we're going to try and sew and turn. Uh, that is pivot. So we take another scrap fit of fabric. I've used the tailor's chalk to draw straight line and I've made corners wherein we are going to turn the fabric. So making sure I have enough thread at the back here, I place the fabric to sew a straight line. I lower my needle into I lower my needle into this fabric. I drop the dog feed. And make sure my machine is on and then the press the foot pedal. When I want to when I get to the corner, I want to turn the fabric. I make sure the needle is down. I pull up the dog feet. I manipulate the fabric so that I'm sewing along the lines I wanted, my stitch line. I drop the dog feet and then I continue sewing. I get to the point I want, I make sure my needle is, up, is, is in the fabric, lift up the dog feed, manipulate the fabric along the stitch line, drop the dog feed, and continue sewing. I get to the point where I want to turn the corner, make sure the needle is all the way down, take the dog feed up, manipulate the fabric, drop the dog feed, I get to the place where I want to turn a corner, drop the needle into the fabric, lift up the dog feet, manipulate the fabric, drop the dog feet, and sew. And when I finish and I get to the end of the fabric, I make sure the needle is up this time. Take the dog feet off and just pull my fabric. And when I've pulled my fabric, I snip off the thread towards the fabric so that I have a long tail at the back of my machine now for the third um, practice we're going to sew along a curve this is a curve we're going to sew along a curve I have used the tailor's jerk I have used the tailor's jerk to draw a curve on this fabric um, and I'm going to sew along that curve. So what I do is I make sure my thread is at the back of the fab of the sewing machine. I place my fabric on the machine. I lower my needle into, just making sure the thread doesn't go into the machine. I lower my thread, my needle into the fabric. I drop the dog feed. I switch on my machine, and then. I start sewing along the curved line but I have to do it gently so that I sew along the curved lines
when I get to the end of my stitches, I make sure the needle is all the way up by turning the wheel balance, lift up the dog feet and pull out my fabric and then snip off the thread attaching. And as you can to. see, um, as you can see, we have the straight stitches done. We have the straight and the pivot we've turned at the corners. Yes, good. And we have we have the curve here. There's the curved one. We have the curved drawn. We've done all these stitches drawn with the straight line. So with this basic um, skills, you're beginning to build up your sewing skills. Thank you. I hope this video was informative.